It's the first ever Bar Down Beauties Award Ceremony, where we present your Minnesota Wild members with some very esteemed and prestigious awards from this past season. As always, we're created by New Voice Studios, brought to you by Talk North, Grain Belt, Jim Beam, Livia, and Royal Credit Union. This is season four, episode 178. At Jim Beam, they know the importance of tradition, like chanting, let's play hockey prior to the start of each game, or playing the state of hockey anthem after a wild win. This season, raise one to your fan family with the bourbon that invites us all to come as friends and leave as family. Jim Beam Bourbon Whiskey, the official bourbon whiskey partner of the Minnesota Wild and XL Energy Center. Drink smart. Jim Beam Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. 40% alcohol by volume. Copyright 2021. James B. Beam Distilling Company, Incorporated, Fairmont, Kentucky. Hello, everybody. What's up? We're back. Episode 178. You guys, it's a big deal. It is our first annual Buttes Award Ceremony. Thank you. Just round of applause for us. <laughs> Snaps, whatever, whatever <laughs> does you well. Um, very excited. We will be giving away 12 Buttes Awards to Minnesota Wild team members, plus the official Beauty of the Year Award, the big trophy back there. Those aren't participation trophies, guys. They're Buttes Awards. That will also be awarded at the very end to our Minnesota Wild Butte of the Year. So, Kirsten, how are you feeling about this? This is not, you look gorgeous. You know, I'm glad we brought out our best attire for those watching on YouTube. We have our awards attire. I'm excited for the ceremony to begin. I'm excited to have this uh, annually from here on out. Agreed. Um, next award show, my plus one will be Bodie. He will be wearing a suit. Um, he didn't show up for the occasion today, unfortunately, but happy to be here. Jesse, you're gorgeous. I love any excuse to get dressed up. So uh, very, very excited. Yeah. I mean, I have been sick all week, so this was a nice excuse to get me out of my illness. I went to urgent care, Kirsten. I'm going to tell a quick story before we get into the awards ceremony because it's ridiculous. And I had I had a sore throat. And I had been trying to like over the counter medicate. I was taking hauls, everything like that. And I go to open my mouth to this urgent care doctor. And she was like, oh, and I was like, okay, not a great reaction. And then she's like, you have a very strange tongue and mouth. And I was like, okay, like, what are you, what does that mean? Like, I'm like, I'm here for you to fix that. Like my throat hurts. I'm imagining it's very swollen, but think about how many mouths and tongues she has seen for her to feel the need to like tell me this like thanks I'll uh I'll get right on fixing that that's not what you want to hear when you go to the doctor Ooh. <laughs> I, Ooh. yeah I was so take it's happened to me once one other time before was when we were in Ireland and um I had like a armpit rash or whatever and went to the pharmacist over there and she's like oh and I was like yeah I know it hurts really bad Oh my goodness. So it's I'm not an isolated occurrence when you go to the doctor. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But you know, that's all in the past. If there was an abuse award for most resilient, most determined, I think I would win that because, you know, we're crushing out this content each and every week. Criteria for Buttes awards, for those that are wondering, it's whatever we want it to be. It's kind of more fun. We're not going to give the best offensive player. We're not going to give the worst player. Uh, you know, I think we all have covered that. We're moving on, guys. We are moving on. So these are some fun awards. We will explain the criteria as we explain the award winner. So uh, let's kick it off. Our first Buttes Award in the 2023 inaugural Buttes Award ceremony is Best Tarps Off Player. And the winner is Jake Middleton. Why Jake Middleton? It needs no explanation. Obviously, his Tarps Off interviews went viral throughout the season. He's got the stash and the no teeth to really add to the tarps off look and allure and he had some fun with it i jake middleton is your buttes tarps off award winner congrats congrats to midzy no one does it better than midzy that is also who i would have picked too i mean he started it all he's a trendsetter yeah exactly uh next award kirsten I'm very excited for this one. This one, I instantly saw the category. I knew best taste in music goes to no other than, and I'm going to do a drum roll. I don't know if you can hear it. Jonas Brodeen. So congratulations to Jonas for best taste in music. A lot of people would argue it's Matt Dumba. I would just like to say whoever is a fan of Taylor Swift is a fan of mine. So Jonas Brodeen is our winner today. I have no 
comment. I, we all knew this was coming. I think even Jonas Brodine saw the writing on the wall. The Academy in general is not surprised by this selection of yours. So, you know, moving on, I think we will go with most likely to be a FIAD teacher. Now, for me, a FIAD teacher has a very definite look, right? A guy that's wearing sweatshirts, a guy that maybe was a has-been or never was. Now, not to say that this player is like that. He just fits the physical appearance of what I picture a PE teacher is. And that award goes to most likely to be a PE teacher is John Merrill. He's got the stash. He's got the hair. I could see him wearing a track suit and like playing floor hockey in gym class, second period, whatever it may be. John Merrill to me embodies a FIAD teacher. Maybe that's his career post playing. You know, I want to say I'm shocked, but I'm not <laughs> like that. Right. It's fitting. I I don't know what else to say about that. If he if hockey doesn't work out for him, there could be another avenue for him to go down. Exactly. Exactly. And that'll lead us into our next category, best tats. Now, this one is another one that just instantly came to mind. So the award winner, Jesse, would you like to do the honors and give a drum roll for this one? I take it back. I wish I would have just done it myself because I do it better. But best tats on the Minnesota Wild. <laughs> As a surprise to no one, Ryan Reeves. Looking at his tattoos makes me want to get a tattoo. So congratulations to Ryan Reeves. Best tattoos on the Minnesota Wild. I mean, is there a consolation award for Matt Dumba, possibly? Maybe like uh, there was, I feel like there's probably nominations for Dumba. Second, I think it could have gone either way. Uh, you and the Academy selected Ryan Reeves. What makes his tats better than Matt Dumba's? Well, for one, he has a lot more of them than Dumba. Sure. Sure. So that also gives him the edge. I don't know. Maybe it's because we've seen Ryan Reeves also go tarps off more this mm -hmm. season as well. Um, so he's really showcased them a lot more so that they just stick out more in your mind, I think. Yeah, no. And he also has that uh, Grim Reaper one that we have Ooh, on there. Oh, yes. I'm feeling like maybe I should pick up the... Best smelling salts this season goes to Jesse Pierce, honorary award winner. Oh, that was a really, that was a really bad idea. Oh my God, that hurt so bad. I'm okay. Um, Moving on to the, <laughs> I thought maybe they'd be dead because they've been out no. of commission for a while. No. Oh, they probably gained potency. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> uh, he also gets an award that we didn't create, but for best reaction uh, to Spelling Savaults would also be Ryan Reeves. Uh, moving on in our Buttes Awards, after I've now recomposed my... Oh, 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 God. wow. All right. Uh, most likely to burn dinner. Now, this is only because I've had some private conversations with him, and it goes to Matt Boldy. Matt Boldy has talked about how... He's not much of a cook in the kitchen. He's working on it. And you know what? He's 21, right? Like 22. It's to be expected. He's learning the routine. I feel like he might burn. Uh, shout out to Jordan Greenway because he would have gotten the award had he still been with the team. He would have been my first selection. Matt Boldy, probably burning a dinner or two. You know, I think that's fair. I mean, we can't be good at everything. So this is just an area that maybe Matt Boldy's not destined to be good in and I think that's okay with a lot of people. As long as he's good at hockey, does anything else really matter? No, you can go dine out all the time. Exactly. So get it, get it. If he wants to buy us dinner for giving him that award, that's or cool. he could cook dinner and then prove us wrong. This is actually also a challenge. We are issuing a challenge. If Matt Boldy thinks that he is a good cook, bring us dinner somewhere, cook something as, up, whip something up. Let's see it happen. Bolds. As long as you're willing to take the first bite that, is an option I'm willing to consider. Well, thanks to Livia. I, it has to be a very specific category, but shout out to my friends at Livia for helping me lose 20 pounds and still going. Uh, but if Boldy cooks me something healthy, which I'm sure he does, maybe, maybe I will. All right. Well, it's out there in the universe now. Matt Boldy, we're waiting on your response. And that'll lead us into our next award, the Adam Banks Award. Little Mighty Duck vibes here for this podcast. And I mean, who else was it going to go to other than... Drum roll, drum roll. I, I messed that one up. I will take accountability for that. Um, Adam Banks award goes to Kirill Kaprizov. How could you not? He, I mean, that's fair. He looks like a kid from Edina too, maybe. Like he definitely could be an Edina kid playing with kids from all over the state, just manhandling them. I think, yes. and he also, you know, he gets hurt. He still plays just like Banksy did, right? You know? flick of the wrist that's no problem for him uh I would agree I think the academy selected right you selected right 
uh, Kirill Kaprizov, your Adam Banks winner. That's going to do it for our first half of the first annual 2023 Buttes, uh, Bar Down Beauties Award Ceremony. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Let us know who you think. We had first uh, first section, best tarps, or best tarps off, best taste in music, most likely to be a Fayette teacher, best hats, most likely to burn dinner, and your Adam Banks Award. Congrats to our winners. You will be receiving these beautiful little trophies, um, possibly, maybe. I have no way to get to them to anyone, but unless we travel elsewhere, possibly, we'll get some acceptance speeches. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll round out our next six award winners. And then we get to give away, guys. This is the one. The Buttes Award winner. I had to turn it because my winner is on here already. So please stay tuned and rejoin us for, again, the 2023, 2023 inaugural Bar Down Beauties Award ceremony. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Now that it's the hockey offseason, who's ready to get beach bod ready with me? Thanks to Livia, I am averaging a weight loss of two pounds per week and keeping it off. I couldn't be more grateful to my Livia team at the Woodbury Clinic for keeping me on track in my weight loss journey, to which I've currently lost more than 15 pounds and counting. Start your success today and join now to receive three months free plus a free gift. Just call 855-GO-LIVIA or visit Livia.com and let them know Jesse Pierce and the Bar Down Beauty sent you. That's 855-GO-LIVIA or visit Livia.com. We're back now on to round two of the 2023 Bar Down Beauties Awards. Again, if you were just joining us right now, uh, this is an award ceremony for fun. We're not doing best offensive player. I don't really care. We all know who the best offensive player is. Those are boring. We are here to give awards for being a butte. Maybe you're a butte in the kitchen. Maybe you're a butte, uh, you know, in the classroom. Just kidding. These guys are in the classroom. I'm just saying the criteria is open ended. So, uh, Kirsten. For our second half, let's kick off our award ceremony. Uh, who we got? This was a category I was very passionate about personally because I also think there's an argument to be made for this said award. Most likely to think a hot dog is a sandwich. It is going to no other than Mr. John Merrill. And this is an award of prestige because I do think a hot dog is a sandwich. And I think John Merrill would be on my team for that one. So John Merrill is our recipient. I didn't realize you were one of these people. That's very I fascinating. Am. It's news to me. Um, you know, also John Merrill was eating a couple of glizzies up in the press box. So it's uh, it makes sense. Yeah, it's yeah. a piece of meat between two pieces of bread. It's a hot dog. It's a sandwich. It could just be a thing. You and Meryl and Phil Kessel can go discuss the ins and outs of that. And Brzgalov, too. I think he's also the one that that questions us. Uh, my next award. Congratulations to John Merrill. That is a very exciting award for you to uh, think a hot dog is a sandwich. Next award in the Bar Down Beauties Award Ceremony. Most likely to pee in a cold tub. I don't know why I put this in there. We were talking about cold tubs and we were coming up with our various awards. Probably Ryan Reeves. I don't know, just because he might think it's funny. I doubt any of them pee. I don't even think you sh can pee in a cold tub, right? Like, I feel like everybody uses free. the same ones. Freeze up. I don't know. You freeze up. I don't have male parts, so I also don't know what that does to a, uh, a person. But um, yeah, but Ryan Reeves, if, if you were to do it, it's maybe him. Just just because. There's only, I think there's two runners up for this category. The first two that come to mind are Ryan Hartman and Brandon Duhame. So they're runners up for this i could see that too yes yes i like i i agree with they probably have all done it if it is a thing that you do somebody please let us know let us know more about cold tubs we'd like to do a cold tub episode if anybody has a cold tub for us to jump in maybe we'll do that too uh moving on what's our next category kirsten this is another category that i was very passionate about when i saw it and there was an immediate name that came to mind i don't really know why but it just did. So most likely to be abducted by aliens, I believe, is no other than Connor Dewar. <laughs> I like it. I don't know that I, uh, I think the Academy also got this one right. I don't even know if there's a runner up for that. I think Dewar. I don't think there is. You should ask him. That's going to be one of my questions at camp this year. Like, do you believe in aliens? He seems like the type that does because of personal experience, clearly. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to yeah. start that rumor. <laughs> I'm gonna I like it. it. I like it. Yep. Let's do it. And, yeah. And then if you believe in aliens, do you want to be abducted by one? Because I feel like some people seek that out, right? 
they do. And I feel like he's one of them. I don't know why, but now I'm just feeling very passionate about this. I'm going to start that rumor. If you start hearing Connor Dewar has been abducted by aliens, I'm not saying that I didn't say it. Fair. I'll give you credit where credit's due. Thank you. I think that seems fair. Next up in our Buttes Award ceremony, best hide and seeker. I selected Kirill Kaprizov. Now, this is not what it means. It's not saying that he he hid during the playoffs. We could easily maneuver it to be that way. Uh, he has some experience in hiding from Bill Guerin. He has some experience in hiding from entities all over the world. It's I like the, it's not really that serious for me. He just basically hid often from us in the media. He got so much better as the year went on, but sometimes he would play hide and seek with the media. Not as bad as past Minnesota Wild players have done. Matt Zuccarello is also a runner up with only one point separating them because I think Zuccarello mm. also plays very good hide and seek with the media. That's what I mean by that. So take it as you will. If you have a different definition for your hide and seek Minnesota Wild player, you probably have a different response. Um, I'm happy you clarified because at first I also thought it was not showing up in the playoffs. And I, was like, I mean, that ooh. that would make sense. That's true. Who would who would win if it were that award? I mean, if we're going to put a little damper on our ceremony, I would say it would either be Kirill Kaprizov or Matt Boldy. I don't think Fair. that there's yeah. much of an argument there. But I like, you know, dodging the media, I would say Zuki and Kirill. Yes. Not bad. Yes. Not bad. Again, there's Kirill got else. so much better and like shout out to PR for always wrangling him down when we needed him most, but it's one thing. Um, two more awards before we get to award our bar down beauty of the year award. The very prestigious big one. Uh, what's up next, Kirsten? Best smile. Now this is one that the Academy has received some criticism for, but I stand by it. And the award for best smile goes to Jewel Erickson Eck. Now, and part of this is because he just makes me smile. I don't know why, but I see him and I just smile. So not only is it like, I feel when he does smile, like it's just cute, but like he makes everyone else smile. If you're not on the ice playing against him when you want to punch him, but to everyone else, all the fans, I feel like he just makes, he just makes me happy. I don't know. No, it, wrong answer. He's like at the bottom of the pile. The Academy got this one wrong. I want to voice my displeasure. I will be taking it to TMZ tomorrow. I actually kind of want to Kanye this and run up on stage and like take the award and be like, no, no, because no, no. that I'm worked out so well the first time. <laughs> I'm going to let you finish. But uh, Mar uh, my boy, Mark andre Floyd over there, best smile. He had the best smile <laughs> ever. He's got it hands down. Mark andre Floyd should have won this war, but here you go. Taylor, I'm going to let you finish. I stand by what I said. Jewel Erickson Eck, he makes me smile. So there you have it. See, different definitions. Mark andre Fleury, even Marcus Foligno, maybe. Who knows? You got a couple options. But well, all right, Jewel Erickson Eck, congratulations for the award that you probably didn't deserve. Uh, final regular award is our Fulton Reed Award. Uh, Self-explanatory. Even Kirsten knows what this means because she has now seen Mighty Ducks. Very proud of you for that. Uh, mm -hmm. Fulton Reed. One of those dynamic players with a heck of a slap shot, kind of gritty, uh, well-loved by his teammates, Brandon Duhane. That's my selection for the Fulton Reed Award. Congratulations to Brandon Duhame. I like it. He's even got a kind of a Fulton Reed-esque type of look. Together with Dewar, maybe they're the Bash Brothers. Who knows? I just request that his acceptance speech is done with cornrows. That's all. God, what a look. What a look. That is very, very true. Uh, again, congratulations to all 12 award winners. Some very exciting uh, awards to be given away on behalf of the Bardown Beauties. We do appreciate you all letting us have some fun. Uh, we'll be sure to keep a lookout for your mini trophies coming in the mail. The only trophies that we're receiving on Minnesota on behalf of uh, the season. So exciting, exciting stuff. Are we ready, Kirsten, for the final award of the year? Biggest beauty, best beauty as known by the Bardown Beauties. This is a team-selected um, mm -hmm. award. Really, Kirsten, I mean, what are you excited? Why does, you know, what embodies the best beauty, according to the Bardown Beauties, in your opinion? Somebody who's always willing to hop on the podcast, for one. Somebody who just, they exude awesomeness. They have the demeanor and the swagger 
And this person embodies it. I think this award is a much bigger deal than even Mr. TNT. So yeah. this is a pretty big deal. I agree. I, I think I would tack on they're a beauty in every sense of the word as well, right? They've just got that hockey beauty part down again. They are good friends of the pod. We appreciate those types of players um, always and forever. So our first ever 2023 Beauty of the Year Award in the inaugural Bar Down Beauties Award ceremony is Kirsten, please drum roll if you can. It's my honor and privilege <laughs> to drum roll for this recipient. <laughs> the winner is Marcus Felino. Now, yes, you guys might be saying, but Jesse, you haven't been as kind to Felino in past few weeks. You're right, I haven't, but I still love him. I maintain I love him. He is our inaugural bar down beauty of the year. He's always going out on a limb, not just for us, but for everybody. He is Mr. Reliable, Mr. Dependable, Mr. Nice. I adore Marcus. Cannot wait to present him with this award. Um, and yeah, Kirsten, what else can you say about Moose, if you will, as our bar down beauty? Of He's the first Minnesota wild Jersey that I've purchased. So, I mean, that's a big deal in and of itself. Um, no one is more deserving of this award, personal favorite. Um, just, he's that guy. He's that guy to his teammates. He's that guy around the league. Like he just is so cool. He is. He's just, you can't help, but, but love Marcus Moose Felino. So I cannot wait to present him with this award. Maybe we'll get an acceptance speech. Uh, but until then on his behalf, uh, this is a great award. Thank you. Love being a beaut. That's probably something along the lines of what he said. He'd say, Kirsten and Jesse, you guys are my favorite people to talk to. Blah, 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 whatever. Marcus, please stop. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. So that's going to do it for this week's episode. That's going to do it for this week's, our, this year's Bar Down Beauty Ceremony. We're going to expand. We're going to get bigger and better. Maybe next year we're at a venue. Maybe next year you guys are a part of the award ceremony. We're working on it. It's something new we're trying. We love it. As we're continuing to release episodes each and every Monday throughout the season, there's been nothing going on, though, guys. So beware of more fun like this content. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget, we have a live show coming up this Thursday in Hastings. Follow all of our social media channels for more details on that. As always, shout out to our friends over at Soda Stick. Shout out to Talk North for featuring us on their network. Green Belt, Jim Beam, Livia, and Credit Union. Uh, you guys all rock. Our fans, you rock. Loving the engagement. Keep that shit up. It's been so much fun. Uh, and again, like I said, lots more to come in the coming weeks lots more events uh golfing is a thing that kirsten and i are going to be doing she doesn't know that yet but we're going to be golfing probably in some down. tournaments and uh it's gonna be a great summer summer is here kirsten let's go i'm ready for it i'm yeah. very ready for it i've been working on my tan this off season i don't know if you can tell but uh there's some, there's some good progress i'm gonna build a slip and slide this week so when you say when you say moves. build a when you say build a slip and slide let's let's what what is that going to look like for you? Um, tarps out. We're gonna lay a big tarp out. Put some maybe soap. I've seen soap put on them, um, to make them more slippery. And water. And we're gonna grill out. This is all Memorial Day weekend plans. So Am it's I gonna be a big deal because this sounds like something I would be very drive to in. Rochester and come through. Like, are you doing flip cup at the bottom of the slip and slide? We should. That should yeah. be a thing. That's the thing. So yes. That's okay. those that's my off season plan. This so is why you need that. me. This is what I bring to the table is drinking games. So that sounds good to me. I will be there. Beautiful. Wonderful. Uh yeah. You guys have a great Memorial Weekend. That's a good reminder. Good Memorial Weekend. We will probably release next week's episode on Tuesday instead of Monday. But until then, keep listening to this. Let us know who your award winners are. Let us know if there were categories you wish we would have discussed. Maybe we'll do it next week. Maybe we keep the awards sh show going. Who knows? Uh, it's award always, season, baby. Yeah, let's go. It's our thing. We can do what we want. We love it. Uh, congrats again. Have a great rest of your week. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. This podcast is made possible due to listeners like you. Thank you.